want to sleep in Mommy's room tonight? No, I'm going to sleep with the amazing man. Joe, did you give him that doll? No. See, I think you're not talking to Stevie because Gary's passing is too hard for you to deal with. Really, Jonathan, that's ridiculous. Oh, it is. Look, Stevie's taking his lead from you. He's hiding from the pain. Disappearing into his imaginary world with Amazing Man. Amazing Man? smell that fresh air. I mean, there's nothing like it. Agreed. Of course, you get a little drive a lot further from the city to find it these days. Yeah. The air's bad. The water's bad. Well, at least the ocean's hanging in there. Yeah, partly. You can't eat the fish coming out of the bays around here. What is the matter with people, anyway? Why do they mess up their own backyards? Money. As long as they get theirs, they don't care what happens down the line. Yeah. Think they'll ever wise up? Probably. People generally do. But it's too late. Yeah. Hey, come on, let's change the subject. Huh? We got a little time off. Let's enjoy it, right? You got it. <laughs> well, first thing I want to do is stop off and see my old pal Gary Douglas. That surprises me. The first thing you want to do is eat. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm kind of hungry. So I'll see Gary tomorrow. I mean, what's another day, huh? Naturally, no, no, he gets dear, a he sense of humor from me. Mommy, <laughs> <laughs> do I have a sense of humor? You, you yes, crack dear. me up. Good. <laughs> Who can that be at this hour? No, no, Sid, I'll get it. If it's the Girl Scouts, they already got me for two boxes. Four boxes? All right! <laughs> That'll last about two days around here. Well, steam them open and tell me how late the street is. Tom, what's the matter? Oh, Lorraine. Not good. Gary's been hurt. It's worse than that. He was shot tonight. How bad? 
Oh, no. No, please. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. Oh. is too young to die. Sure is. Yeah, he was a good guy. He was a good cop, too. I'm not saying that just because I trained him. He just had this way of making everybody feel great, you know what I mean? People like that are rare. Yeah, they sure are. It's gonna be hard on his family. He's got a little boy named Stevie. I think he's about seven now. Glad we don't have an assignment. Feel a lot better having you along. This is our assignment. Prepared, put! Port, home! Right, oblique! Prepare to fire! Ready! Aim! Fire! Aim! Fire! Aim! Fire! Recover! Left oblique! Order home! I've been better. Joe, my thoughts have been with you. Mark, it's good to see you. Oh, it's my friend Jonathan Smith, it's Lorraine and Joe Douglas. I'm very sorry about your loss. Well, thank you for coming. Where's Stevie? I left him with a neighbor. I just didn't see any reason to put him through this. It's hard enough on the boy. Anyway, will you come back to the house? We're having just a, you know, a little gathering for friends from the force. I'll follow you. Well, thanks very much, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'll call you next week. Thank you. Thanks very much. Okay. I'm glad this day is almost over. Well, they say the day of the funeral is the hardest. It was quite a tribute they paid to Gary. 
Oh, yes, the uh, police department's real good with tributes. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, look at this mess. Hey, look, why don't you two sit down and relax? Mark and I can clean this up. No way I'm going to sit down while you clean my house. Rule number one, never try to talk the rain out of anything. Rule number two, never try to talk the rain out of anything. I'll get a plastic bag. I just feel like I have to stay on top of everything, especially now. I mean, there's just so much I have to take care of for Gary. Hey, look, I'd be happy to give you a hand with the pension stuff insurance. I had to go through it, you know, when I left the department. Well, Mark, I couldn't ask you to do that. You didn't. I offered. Now, come on, I really want to help. Well, okay. But I insist you stay with us, then. I've got two beds up in the guest room. Hi, sweetie. Hello. Thank you, Betty. Listen, your timing was perfect. Everybody just left. Was he a good boy? Mm, he's a doll. You're gonna be a real heartbreaker. You know that? <laughs> you take care. If you need anything, just pick up the phone and holler. Thank you. I will. Don't tell me this is Stevie. Stevie, this is Mark and Jonathan. They want to say hello to you. I remember you when you were a little baby. How you doing, Stevie? Good to see you. Hi. Let me tell you something. He has been a brave little trooper. You bet he has. He's a big boy. What you got there? It's a picture of Amazing Man. See? Amazing Man. Hey, that's beautiful. Well, he looks like a good friend. He is. He's the best. Can I go to bed now? Bed? It's too early, isn't it? I just want to go to bed. All right, sweetie. Go ahead. I'll be up in a few minutes. Stevie? Yeah? You want to sleep in Mommy's room tonight? No, I'm going to sleep with the amazing man. Joe, did you give him that doll? No. Never saw it before tonight. Hey, look at this. Amusement World has a new ride. Spider Wheel. <laughs> I bet Stevie'd love that. He's too young for those rides, Joe. Oh, I think he'd get a kick out of it. You know, get his mind off stuff. Not that way. Mother knows best. Yeah, Stevie and I are up to school. Gonna introduce me to his teacher, aren't you? If you want me to. <laughs> Thank you for taking him. I would have taken him, Jonathan, but I had to see the dentist this morning. Oh, I know how you feel. Yeah. Come on, pal. We're on our way. We'll see you later. Hi, partner. Hi, partner. Bye, partner. Bye, partner. <laughs> we got our schedule working out for today. Uh, yeah. Everything except the pension office. It's funny, isn't it, Mark? Bet you never thought when you were training Gary that you would be here helping his widow. It's going to take some time, but you'll be okay. Hey, if you, if you don't get going, you're never going to get your business done. Huh. Uh, okay. Oh. Joe, I forgot. We have to drop you at the dentist? Don't worry about me. I'll take the bus. Oh, no, you don't. Hey, it's only two miles. Anyway, I like the bus. I always meet interesting characters. <laughs> okay. We'll see you later. Yeah. Really sad. I saw all the reports on the news. Well, I'm sure his classmates have seen them, too. We just may have to deal with that. Well, if the subject comes up, I'll try and handle it in a way that's comfortable for him. Mrs. Douglas will appreciate that. Well, I'd better be going. Thank you very much. Sure. Mrs. Blake? Yes, Jason? Was that Stevie's father who got killed on TV the other night? Uh, yes. That was Stevie's daddy. He was a policeman, and he was very brave. 
He was a hero. And we all want Stevie to know that he and his family are in our prayers. Honey, dinner's ready. He's been up in his room all afternoon. Oh, Sonia is great. Remember the time Gary brought it to the station for the guys? No, I think that's how we got his promotion. <laughs> no, Gary got his promotion because he was gung ho. There's nothing wrong with being gung ho. As a matter of fact, gung ho was a slogan of our Marines during the big war. It all depends on how you look at it. There's only one way I want to look at it. My son was a hero. We're not gonna agree on this, Joe, so why don't we drop the subject? Well, Jonathan, uh, how did everything go at the school today? Oh, yeah, Mrs. Blake was very understanding. I still think Stevie's gonna have a tough time, you know, how cruel kids can be. I know. It's tough. But he's strong, and he's gonna have to deal with it. Where is he, anyway? Stevie, dinner's ready, honey. Will you please come down? What have you been doing? Nothing. Did you wash your hands? Yes. All right, come sit down. Stevie, please sit down. Your dinner's getting cold. I have to finish setting the table first. Your place is already set, sweetie. I have to set a place for my friend. Oh, yeah? Who's your friend, Steve? Amazing man. Look at this. Tag's still on it. He never even wore it. Somebody will get a lot of use out of it. Uh, Mark's taking the first load down at the thrift store. You got any more boxes for him? We're coming along. Mommy, I'm home. Oh, great. I didn't want him to see this. Well, you're home early. We had an assembly. How you doing, Stevie? What are you doing with Daddy's clothes? We're, uh, we're giving them away to the poor people. Oh, do you have to? Yes, sweetie, we do. I want you to go in and get going on your homework, huh? Can I stay? Well, no, sweetie, sorry. There's really not, not enough room in here. Please? No way, Jose. But I want to stay in here. No, I'm sorry. You can't. All right, now let's go. You never let me do anything. All right, now that's enough. You go to your room. You're mean. I'll be right back. Stevie. Stevie, I'm sorry I snapped at you, honey. Mommy just has a lot on her mind. I have a lot to do before I go back to work next week. Stevie, are you listening to me? Stevie, put that thing down so I can talk to you. It's not a thing. It's amazing, man. Stevie, I expect you to look at me when I talk to you. I don't wanna. Now, just a minute, mister. Now, this amazing man business has gotten all out of hand. You eat with it, you sleep with it, you take it to school with you. He's my friend. Well, I want you to put your friend aside, and I want you to do your homework. I'll do it later. You'll do it now. No. All right, give me the toy. No way. Amazing man.
man doesn't have to listen to anybody. He told me he wants to fly. Is that right? Well, let me tell you something. When I see that you've done your homework, you can have him back. Maze man's very mad at you. He'll get over it. And I don't want you taking it to school with you anymore. time since I walked these hallways. And everybody looks so young. Listen, this pension stuff shouldn't take too long. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Do you believe this? They said they'd be open all day. Probably having lunch. Well, maybe they're eating in here. Hey, they're chowing down in there. They're not going to answer the door. Boy, the guys with the inside jobs really have it made, don't they? <laughs> Rain, take it easy. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I tell you what. Why don't we go sit on a bench and take ourselves a break? Huh? No. Rain, come on. Mark, why does he have to be a cop? Why? You love being a cop. You know that. What I know is that everybody in this place could always count on Gary to, to take the overtime. Pull a shift for him. It's that kind of job, you know? People here have to look out for each other. Really? Is looking out for everybody else but your own family what it's all about? Of course not. We needed him at home, too. Lorraine, Gary loved you and Stevie and Joe very, very much. Now, you know that. A lot of good it does us, ma'am. Okay, amazing man, if you stand in front of me, when the bad guys come, I'll blow them away to little pieces. Amazing man, there's too many. I need your help. Crush them, quick. What are you doing? I'm playing. What are you playing? I'm playing with amazing man. Who's that? He's an inner space crime fighter. Where is he? He's over there. Why can't we see him? Because he only lets me see him. Oh, yeah? Then what do you look like? He's real tall, he has big muscles, and he can fly. Oh, Superman. No way! He's much stronger than Superman. Kryptonite can't hurt him. Amazing Man can eat Kryptonite, and he wouldn't even know it. No one's stronger than Superman. That's why he's called Superman. Superman used to be the strongest, but that was before Amazing Man. That's dumb. You're dumb. There isn't any amazing man. There is two. There is not. It's two. We play together all the time. He even takes me flying. We're best friends. Oh, yeah? Then I'll probably get mad if I take your hat. Give me that. No. If you want it, have amazing man come over here and try to take away from me. Come on. Come on. You're all dumb. You're all dumb. I got Stevie's hat. I got Stevie's hat. I got Stevie's hat. Oh, Mrs. Douglas, thanks for coming. Well, thank you for waiting for me. Listen, I have to tell you, uh, I was a little concerned when you called. Oh, I'm sorry I worried you. It's just that uh, Stevie's having some problems, and I thought we should talk. Please, come in. Help! Help! Somebody help me! Please! Hold on, Grandpa Joe! I can't hold on much longer! Don't let go of the cliff, Grandpa Joe! Amazing Man's coming to save you. Oh, Amazing Man, you are strong. Well, Grandpa Joe, you're okay now. Yeah, well, uh, how are we gonna get out of this jungle and back to civilization, hmm? I know, Amazing Man 
Mama flies back? Good idea. Hmm? Okay, Maisie Man, flies back to our house. Shh. Amazing man, you rescued us again. You are amazing. Yeah, he's the best. What are you doing? Well, we're being rescued by Amazing Man, that's what. Right, Amigo? Yeah, he got us out of big trouble. You are in even bigger trouble with me, young man. Let me tell you something. I just got finished talking to your teacher. She said that you're spending all your free time with this, this amazing man of yours. That you're not doing your schoolwork. That you're getting into fights. Is that true? I don't know. Well, I do know. Now, I want you to get upstairs and get busy doing the work that you're supposed to be doing. But, Mommy... No, but, Mommy, me. Now, go. And I don't want you talking to Amazing Man. I want you doing your work. Joe, I do not want you encouraging him in this Amazing Man business. Now, uh, listen, Lorraine. I kept my mouth shut while the boy was in the room, but I gotta say something. I think you're coming down on him too hard. Well, I think he needs structure, Joe. I think he needs to deal with the real world. There'll be plenty of time for that. Look, he's my responsibility now. I will make the, all the rules for him. I'm sure you will. But I want to make one point. Regardless of what you and the teachers say, kids do have imaginary playmates. Like, I, I, I remember Gary had one when he was a kid. I thought it was kind of cute. I'll bet you did. I'll bet he was a cop. What do you mean by that? <sighs> Joe, weren't you the one that was always encouraging him to be a cop? Getting on that, huh? Listen. Being a cop was Gary's decision. Now, I'm proud my son was a cop, and there are a lot of other people who are proud he was, too. Good. Why don't you tell him that, Joe? Why don't you tell your son how proud you are of him? Joe, relaxing, huh? Around here, you gotta be kidding. What's the matter? Something wrong? Not with me, there isn't. I can't vouch for her, though. It's great, isn't it? My own daughter-in-law blames me for what happened to Gary. Oh, I'm sure. No matter what she said, she didn't mean that. I'm taking a walk. believes that you're real, not the kids at school, and not even my mommy. And you are real, and you're my friend. Okay, here's the last of the envelopes. Boy, I can't believe we're almost finished. 
You sign these forms, I'll run them by the post office. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Oh, good. Mark's a real whiz. Oh, shucks. <laughs> hey, listen, I uh, have a feeling Stevie here could be talked into going to the park. I wouldn't mind taking him. Well, Jonathan, you don't have to do that. I mean, I'm sure Joe will take him when he gets back from the senior center. Yeah, but I wouldn't get a chance to play. <laughs> you want to go, honey? I guess so. All right, pal, come on, let's go. So, you want to play some catch? I don't think so. Uh, what about monkey bars? No, I want to play with Amazing Man. <laughs> you really like Amazing Man, don't you, Steve? Oh, yeah. How come? Because he comes whenever I call him. And he never tells me what to do. He's a lot better than the regular people. And you know what else? What? He never lies. Oh, are the regular people lie to you? Yeah. You're kidding. Who lies to you, Stephen? My dad. He said he would come home after work for dinner, and he didn't. You know, Stevie, I know your dad wanted to come home to you, but he just couldn't. But Amazing Man could. Because when the bad guys shoot at him, the bullets don't stick. They just bounce right off. Oh, the amazing man can never die, huh? That's right. He can't ever die. You really miss your daddy, don't you? No. Uh, this is some tree. Yeah. You know, trees are really special things. Just think about it. They get protection of squirrels and the birds. They always seem to be around when you want something to climb into. I'll tell you, this tree's been here a long, long time. Someday, it's not going to be here anymore. Why not? Well, I mean, I wish it could be here forever, but it just can't. See, trees are like all living things. Someday, they're going to die. But that's not fair. Oh, I know it doesn't seem fair. Especially if it's a person who dies. And it's someone you love very, very much. Like your daddy. I want to go play the amazing man. Joe, if you can't rinse the dishes any better than this, I would just as soon do it myself. Well, that's just fine with me. You do it. Oh, hi, Jonathan. Hi. Did you and Stevie have a good time at the park? Well, I say we try, but he's having a hard time at it. Why, did he say anything? No, it's what he didn't say. I think Stevie's feeling a lot of pain now, and he just can't get it out. And I think he's afraid to get it out. What do you mean? Oh, I think Stevie's gotten the message that it's not all right for him to talk about how sad he feels right now. Well, we sure haven't stopped him. I'm sorry to say, I think you have. Look, beginning with the funeral. I mean, not letting him go to his own father's funeral had to make him feel like an outsider. I mean, as though he didn't have a right to grieve. Jonathan, he's just a child. Yeah, but he's got feelings. Come on, I mean, since the funeral, have either one of you sat down and talked with him about what he's going through? No. No, because it would just upset him. Upset him or you, Lorraine. See, I think you're not talking to Stevie because Gary's passing is too hard for you to deal with. Really, Jonathan, that's ridiculous. Oh, it is. Well, I think that's why you two are on each other's case all the time. I think it's a lot easier for you to argue than talk about how much you're hurting inside. If Stevie's taking his lead from you, he's hiding from the pain. Disappearing into his imaginary world with Amazing Man. Well, we were just trying to protect him. You can't protect yourself or him from the pain. Lorraine, you lost Gary. You have to allow yourself a chance to grieve so you can heal.
son. That's just about it. Mark, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for everything. Listen, the next time you come back, you won't have to work this hard either, I promise. <laughs> uh, How's he doing, Joe? He's all cried out, I think. Is it all right if I go upstairs and say goodbye to him? Yeah, sure. I won't be long, Mark. someplace special today. Yeah. I went to the cemetery to visit my daddy. You want to tell me about it? Mommy and Grandpa Joe took me. Mm-hmm. I put flowers in daddy's grave and cried a lot because I wanted to hold him. Yeah, I know. I wanted to talk to daddy, but I knew he couldn't hear me. Hey, why do you say that? Because he's gone. Oh, no, he's not. Your daddy's not gone, Stevie. See, part of your daddy's still inside you. It always will be. And his love can always hear your love. Does that happen every time? You bet it does every single time. What did you want to say to your dad? It's okay. Well, I wanted to say. It's all right to tell amazing man, you know. I love you, Daddy. I love you, and I miss you. I'm sorry I got mad at you for not coming home. Hey, hey it's okay to cry. I'm okay now. 
that you're okay. And that's why I'm able to go. See, I've got another assignment. Where do you have to go? Oh, it's a long, long way from here. I gotta fly a long ways to help another little boy who's scared just the way you were. Till you found out your dad was still in your heart. I guess it's right if someone else really needs you. There's just one thing I would like. If you could. Well, you name it. You mean not anything? Anything. Just a dream.